Well, they are elusive and they are endangered. Only a few dozen of these beautiful cats called ocelots are actually left in the United States, and most of them live in the Rio Grande Valley. Sadly, seven of the rare cats were killed in just the past year, hit by traffic while trying to cross busy highways. That's why TxDOT is now teaming up with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. They're designing special highway crossings to help the species survive. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman reveals those plans. Sort of a take on the old riddle of why did the ocelot cross the road? To reach new territory or a female mate, young ocelot males forced out of their habitat by older ones. Instead of crossing busy highways, this safer alternative is under construction, an underpass. So, were I a cat, here I would go. So how will these endangered animals know where to find the special crossing? We can't put up a sign for the ocelots that says, cross here, cross here. Wildlife staff are installing chain link fences. Above this and going down along the sides. To funnel the animals in the right direction. It's already working in the valley between Port Isabel and Brownsville. Check out these surveillance pictures. You're really talking about understanding the animal's biology and movements and what they prefer. The new underpasses are being built along State Highway 106, which crosses the Laguna Atasca Wildlife Refuge, where a new road is expected to speed up traffic, making it just as deadly for the ocelots as Highway 100 on the way to South Padre Island. Four were killed there trying to cross a big impact on their tiny population. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says only about 50 ocelots remain here in the U.S. Most live on that refuge down in South Texas. While the temps are cool.